Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this took a while to uh, make, so make sure to smash the like button so I can feel better about myself. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you that sand gun printed way back in 2003? Question mark? It's an FTK, all on its own. Nothing else. No discards like the Gazelle one. No, no, no. Just on its own, everyone. Anyway, we're going through each step because some people ask like it was going too fast some people aren't familiar with the cards and that's completely fine so what's going to happen is we're going to be normal summoning our sand gun we're going to be turning into almirage which just needs a it's just link one that needs takes salangre uh it, it takes sand gun as a material then when sand gun's from the field to graveyard we're going to be adding crusadia arborea from our deck to our hand and then we're going to be special summoning it because it is a inherent special summon it's on an effect that activates which totally gets bypasses uh the Sangan's errata of you can't activate the uh, you can't activate cards or effective cards with that name for us at that turn. So this means we can still summon our Borea if we search off Sangan. Next, we are going to be making Needle Fiber. Who would have guessed? We're going to be using the effect of Crystal Needle Fiber, summoning or Halky Fibrax, whatever it's called in the TCG, to summon Global from our deck. We're going to be linking those two into Equimax. Then we're going to be linking away Equimax into Crusadia Magius, just send it to the graveyard, just to save time. Then we're going to be milling an imaginary card to summon Gullet Bolt. We're going to be triggering Crusadia Magius, adding Crusadia Draco from our deck to our hand. Then we're going to link Bulb and Magius into Spava. And then we're going to next special summon Draco from our hand. Draco will, uh, one special summon from the hand to his own link monster points to, adds back a Crusadia card from deck to hand, or Crusadia monster from grave to hand. Or is it card? It's a card, that's sick. Okay. No, no, that, 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 that might be spicy in the future. Anyway, we're going to be out of back the Arborea from our graveyard to our hand, just for the, the resources, obviously. Then we're going to be linking away Draco with LP. Spathos effect will now trigger, moving LP to the right. Then we're going to be summoning Omni Dragon Brothar from our deck. We're going to be like, hmm, what are you going to do with this Brothar? Well, we're going to be using its effect targeting Crusadia, Spatha. What? We're not adding a dragon? No, 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 no. We're adding Black Cluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning from our deck to our hand. Next, we're going to be linking away our Brotar and our LP to search uh, to make Dragoonity Knight Romulus, which will add Dragon Ravine from our deck to our hand. Next, we're going to summon BLS from our hand, then linking that and Spava into Easel. All the usual suspects are here today. Uh, we're going to be using its on summon effect to add uh, Black Lotus Soldier on the beginning from our deck to our hand. Then we're going to send four equip spells, summoning Armageddon Knight from our deck to our hand, which will then Armageddon or We'll summon Armageddon Knight from our deck to our field, and then we're going to be using its effect to send Shudo from our deck to our graveyard. Then we're going to be paying half of our life points, summoning the Shudo from our graveyard, then synchroing into Power Tool Dragon. Then Power Tool Dragon, y you you've seen this before. Uh, Power Tool will search DDR, add back Phoenix Blade, banishing two warriors, activate DDR, bring back Armageddon Knight, discarding Phoenix Blade, sending Zephyros. Zephyros will bounce the DDR back to our hand, which will destroy Armageddon Knight. Then we'll banish Armageddon Knight again to add back Phoenix Blade. We're gonna go DDR again. I summon back the armor again for the 18th time, stunning Summoner Monk, usual suspects, making Dugaris once again. Dugaris will then will bring back Summoner Monk from our graveyard. Then we're gonna be linking all four of our the other monsters on our field to Summoner uh Summon Star User. We're banishing two warriors from our graveyard, adding back Phoenix Blade, discarding Phoenix Blade for Summoner Monk to summon another monk from our deck, which will be a bit peculiar, but it'll make sense in a minute. We're gonna be using Dragon Ravine, finally, to discard the LS we added off of Isolde to send Absolute Earth Dragon from our deck to our grave and then adding in, in, in turn triggering Absolute Earth to add Tracer from our deck to our hand. Next we're going to banish the exact two warriors left in our graveyard to add back Phoenix Blade once more and using Summoner Monk once again because it's a soft once per turn and a hard once per turn to summon Rescue Ferret from our deck. Then our Ferret effect will just shuffle itself back into the deck and we're going to summon Steam, Broken Boy, Magic Cat and Jet Synchron from our deck. Next, we are going to be first returning Jet Synchron into Link Karibo, and then we're going to linking uh, the Link Karibo, Steam, and one of the Summoner Monks into Curious. Curious will then send. Um, so, uh, Steam will summon a token, and then Curious will be sending a Desynchro from a Graveyard, then we'll be milling three cards. Next, we're going to be using Soyuja to special summon Tracer from our hand, and then Tracer will destroy Curious to summon Rocket Synchron from our deck. Then we're going to be synchroing with. So now we're locked into the darks for the extra deck. Next, we're going to be synchroing with Monk and Rocket Synchron into TG Hyper Librarian. And then we're going to be completing our FTK loop by going Tracer and Magic Cat into Tempest Magician. And now this is what happens Hyper Librarian, Chainlink 1, Mandatory to Draw a card. Next 
is Chainlink 2 for Tempest Magician to put a spell counter on itself. And then Chainlink 3 would be Magic Cat, which if you don't know what it does, if it's set through a graveyard for the Synchro Summon, if a spellcaster type Synchro Monster, you can target a card in your graveyard and put it on top of your deck. This is what happens. Last thing in the chain, Magic Cat puts back Desynchro on top of our deck, then Hyper Librarian will draw it for us. Next, we are going to be using Tempest Magician's effect to return or to remove all spell counters on the field to inflict 500 damage to our opponent. Now our opponent's on 7,500. Next, we're going to be activating Desynchro, and then um, Desynchroing back our Tempest Magician, and then summoning the Tracer and the Magic Cat back to our field. And if you see what's happening, we're going to repeat this an infinite amount of times until our opponent's life points hit zero. And that is the combo I'll be showing you today, guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever YouTubers say these days. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought, uh, whether it's silly, degenerate, whatever. Uh, and also just, you know, share a little love, share around, you know. Uh, trying to get more, some more subscribers on a road to a thousand subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. A week ago had like, uh, or two weeks ago now, I guess, had like 200 subscribers and now we're on like, almost 900 which is absolutely amazing thank you so much everyone and once again uh comment down below if you want me to ftk with some sort of strategy and i'll try make one definitely not volcanics and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye